everybody, this is our third video in the series on the Enterprise DNA Power Tools Suite, uh, which is a group of tools developed exclusively for Enterprise DNA members by Microsoft MVP Greg Deckler. And it's intended to really speed and automate different aspects of your Power BI report development. And in the past two videos, we've covered the DAX Editor Pro and PowerSort Pro. And today, what we're going to be doing is a deep dive into Quick Measures Pro, which I would say is probably the most complex of the five. Um, but it also is well worth the time to learn. And I think what you'll find is it's not, it's not a, a steep learning curve, um, but it will provide you some incredible power for automating your, your DAX measures, and particularly in conjunction with the Analyst Hub that you also have access to as an Enterprise DNA member. So I want to dive in and show you what, what Greg has done on that and how to turn that all to your advantage. So let's jump into Power BI. And what I've got here is just the, the standard Enterprise DNA practice model. It's a, it's a star schema model based on about four years of sales data, um, just using the Enterprise DNA Extended Date Table, a series of common dimension tables, and a measures table. And in the measures table, we've just got total sales and average sales. So pretty simple stuff, but it'll, it'll be quite illustrative, I think, when we tie this in with Quick Measures Pro. And when we talk about Quick Measures, what Quick Measures are, and it, it, it can be confusing because there are times when you, you might hear, oh, you, don't, you shouldn't use quick measures. And what people are talking about there is implicit measures. So if we were to take um, sales and take this line total field and then go here and go from don't summarize to sum, that's an implicit measure. And what you'll see is that's the same as our total sales measure. But you don't want to be using those type of implicit measures or what some people call quick measures. And there's a lot of reasons for that that I won't get into. Um, but the biggest reason is you can't do measure branching from it. So we're not going to use that sort of quick measure. But the type of quick measure that we're going to be talking about today are really explicit DAX measures that are could be classified as DAX patterns. And Microsoft has built into Power BI probably a a few dozen of these quick measures um, that you can select and they're pretty they're pretty limited um, and I, I frankly don't use them that much because they're kind of buried in the menu and it's often just easier to do it other ways but what Greg Deckler has done he has put together a comprehensive list of over 200 quick measures and they're really accessible they're easy to view let me show you how that works and so if we go into external tools and if you haven't installed the the power tool suite yet go to my first video on um, dax editor pro and it shows you the first five minutes show you how to download and install that that suite if you're an enterprise dna member but what we're going to be looking at today is quick measure pro and what we've got here is this huge list of quick measures that Greg has put together. And these are all completely accessible to you in this in this tool. And so let's let's just take a simple example. So what we want to do in this is we want to take our our customers and we want to segment them. And let's say we, we want to do either kind of a bootstrapping analysis or we want to do a survey of a subset of our customers. And we want to kind of an easy way of subsetting um, these customers based on a, you know, a fairly random approach. And so one of the things we could do is do some sort of sampling off of customer index. And one way we could do it is that would be pretty random would be to highlight those customer indexes that are prime numbers. And so conveniently enough, there is a quick measure that shows you exactly how to do prime numbers. To, to figure out if a number is prime. You, you click here on is prime. And then what you'll see in your, in, your, um, in your quick measures column here is the ability to choose your column. And this is what's, what's great about this, is that you can apply this is prime to any column within your model that's, that's a number. And so 
we can look here and we can say, okay, customers, we want to apply it to our customer index, click okay. And then what we can do is we can take a look at the DAX. And this is, this is not a simple calculation. So you, you have to generate a series, you have to then calculate that series and then using the mod command, figure out if the number is divisible only by itself and one. And if that's the case, then it's prime. If that's not the case, it's not prime. So fairly complex DAX to write, but in this case, you don't have to write it. The Greg's already, already done that for you. And so what you do is you can just drop down here and say, okay, we're gonna put this in our measures table. We've already got a description. We can format the, uh, the string here. We can put it into folders. Um, if this were a particular type of of measure, we could set the, the data category, we could hide it, we can basically control all the metadata here, but we're just gonna keep this as a standard measure and then just say create. And it's told us that our, our measure customer index prime measure is created successfully in measures. And we can take a look at Power BI and see that that is in fact true. And what we can even do here is we can take and we can just call this something shorter like is prime. And one of the things we can do that's interesting is we can, if we go back to Quick Measures Pro, we can actually create this as a measure or as a calculated column. And so if we want to do calculated column, we would have just clicked here, um, updated the DAX and hit create. But let's let's keep it as a measure. And let's say that what we want to do also is we want to create some sort of visual indicator for those those indexes that are prime. And one of the things that Craig has also programmed in here is these SVG measures. And these are these are again fairly complex DAX that uses HTML code to create these visual effects. And so let's say blinking dot. And what we can do here is again, keep this a measure and we're gonna flag this. All we wanna do is turn this on and off. And so a good one that we know is always gonna be a, a number is year. So we can select year and then fill color, let's say we want to make this green, uh, line color, let's make this white, and let's keep, let's set our radius to 10, and opacity 1 is good. So we'll look at the DAX here, and you can see that this is, you've got some HTML code, you've got HTML tags, and then the return statement. And so let's put this into our our measures as well. And what we see here is the data category. It's smart enough to know that the data category is image URL. That if you if you don't click image URL or it didn't click image URL, you would just get it basically returning this text. But it's smart enough to know that. So we hit create and we've got our blinking dot measure. So let's take a look at how this all works. If we jump back into Power BI, and what we can do is we can now create a very simple measure. And we'll just call this dot, or we'll call it prime dot. So if our prime measure is equal to one, indicating that it's a prime number, then what we want to do is return our SVG blinking dot measure. And if it's a zero, we just want to return a blank. And now let's take this prime dot measure, 
move it into our table. And change that to image URL. And there we go. So now we've got flashing dots for all the ones that we want to select in our in our subset um, that are based on customer index being prime. And you can see the power in this. I mean, this example is a little silly and trivial, but you can really see what we've done here is created a pretty complex DAX measure and then a pretty complex visual measure um, in terms of our blinking dot in just a few clicks. And so that's pretty powerful, especially when you go back and look at the fact that there's an enormous array of quick measures that are already listed here. So we've got all sorts of time intelligence and date intelligence measures. Greg has basically replicated many of the um, functions in Excel that you might need. So this one in particular I like is um, it does a ranking and then determines the the K Kth ranked item in a column or in a in a set. So you, you can have, for example, the 10th highest total sales. Um, there's all sorts of filtering measures, financial measures, lookup measures, um, math and statistical. And then, as I say, some of these more complex SVG measures, um, text manipulation, time and duration, time intelligence, kind of a whole range, over 200 measures, unit conversions. And so these are all kind of easily accessible to you if you just basically pull them up, fill in the right columns, and hit create. So that's your basic intro to Quick Measures Pro. That's the out of the box usage. And that's super helpful, I think. You know, it's 200 really common measures um, you can just access with a couple of clicks. But the thing I want to show you in the next video is really where the, the huge power in this program lies. And that's the ability to create your own custom quick measures based on your most frequently used DAX. And particularly when you tie this in with the Analyst Hub, this just gets crazy powerful. And so in my next video, I want to show you exactly how to leverage those two, tool, two tools so that you only have to write your, your commonly used DAX measures once, and you can reuse them over and over in your reports with just a couple of clicks. So as always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video when we'll dive into the, the custom quick measures. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.